Hello. After class, a student came up with a good question, and I'd like to repeat back as best I can the answer I gave. The question was, well, what are the barriers to communication? The ones we discussed in class are spread out all over the book because the book organized them by uh, verbal and nonverbal categories. But the, the barriers to communication can be the distractions caused by noise. And as we noted, noise is more than the sound of a manufacturing machine. A barrier or a noise could be two different cultural assumptions about how something is done or how to behave. Now, those cultural assumptions are more than just someone from Korea or Germany or Italy living in the United States or an American living in Korea, living in Germany, living in Italy. The cultural assumptions exist here in the U.S. between urban and rural communities, as we noted. Personal prejudices are definitely barriers to communication. Language differences can become a barrier to communication as both sides are leaning into the other to understand what's being said and to figure out how to say what needs to be said. In addition, the use of technical words to non-technical people can indeed become a barrier to communication. These are repeated in the book, in, but they're classified as verbal and nonverbal categories. As to the term we discussed as the gatekeeper of information, a gatekeeper could be a barrier if they forgot, for example, to cascade the information. They forgot to forward on the email, for example, and that happens. Or the gatekeeper can be a barrier if they deliberately filter the information going downward or going upward, filtering based on their own particular desire for more power, knowledge is power, or filtering it for their own prejudices. So those items that can be seen below the tip of the iceberg, under the water, can at times be a barrier to communication. I thank the student for the question, and I hope this helps you all out.